Action joining us from Washington, Charles Krauthammer. So, I don't think President Obama can give in after Syria. That's the problem. He can't give in or he looks even weaker than he looked a couple of weeks ago, right? He's not going to give in because this is going to give him political advantage. This is a lifeline for an administration that's drowning. His numbers are low. The administration's in disarray. Humiliated abroad, an economy stuck in the mud at home. He really got nowhere to go. I think they have been hoping for a shutdown because Obama then gets to go on the stage and to give all that stuff that you showed in your introduction. This is the law of the land. I'm upholding the law except for one thing. It's completely lawless. He unilaterally changed about 17 provision in law That's after right. it was passed. That's right. You are not allowed to do that under our system. And then he says, but the Republicans are the ones who are being unreasonable because they want to amend another provision. And as you pointed out, Obama already suspended it for the big guys. For, for big business, you get a year grace. But if you're a little individual, you don't get anything. So why I doesn't he one. just say, what is it? What are, you know, I think it all has to do with Syria because I, I think he... They're playing this macho game. But you're right in the sense that the president is gambling, that the Republican Party is going to just uh, implode from this. But that it's gamble not much hurts of, Americans. It but hurts it's not Americans. much of a gamble because he's got the press, a supine press on his side that insists on saying it's the Republicans who are at fault. You raised in your talking point the issue of how come these guys, with all the problems you pointed out, the serious contradictions, the difficulties in the law, the, the doctors who are going to quit, yeah. all the stuff you mentioned. But you said, why didn't the Republicans and the, and the president work all this out and compromise over the last month? The reason is this. The Republicans are right in believing that the bill that was passed, this monstrosity that no one read, is so complicated, so contradictory, so overregulated, so impossible that there's no way to salvage it. They went about this completely the wrong way. If you want to insure the uninsured, which I believe a, a decent society ought to do, then you look at that problem and you look at it seriously. You don't remake 18% of the U.S. economy. But that's what I'm saying. But you can, do that, you can do that in a compromised situation. So No, you can't. Well, well, well wait, wait, wait. Let me pose it bad. and you can, you can shoot it down. So okay. I'm President Obama and I said, you know what? All right, we got a lot of problems with this thing and it hasn't been ironed out, but... The people who uh, are going to sign up tomorrow, beginning tomorrow, you can sign up, all right? And then we will do what we said we were going to do. But the other people who would like a waiver, you apply for the waiver, whether it's in the post office, the IRS, whatever you do, and you'll be granted a one-year grace period like we did with the corporations. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with it is all the other stuff you mentioned. The doctors who are quitting, the Cleveland, the clinic. But let's see that how that cuts. unfolds. Let's see it. But there is so, look, tomorrow we're going to begin to see what are called euphemistically the glitches. But it's not the glitches. The entire approach of reforming 18% of the economy with thousands of pages of regulation written by experts who don't know anything in the end, and the regulations each have side effects, which have side effects, which are going to interact with each other in a way that nobody understands. It was completely the wrong way to go about this Okay, in the but first we're place. looking at it now from hindsight, and you're no, right. No, it's not hindsight. That's it's why the GOP... But that's why the Republicans want to abolish it. But they don't have the power cannot, to abolish it, I see? understand, but that doesn't mean that, the, that they should sit down and try to amend a bill of this complexity and this regulation where it is unamendable, unfixable. But I if believe they the buy GOP, themselves a year, Charles, if the Republican Party, and I don't know, I think they would go for my compromise. I talked to a few of them and they said they would. The hardliners wouldn't, but most of the Republicans would. If they buy themselves a year, the Republican Party, into the 2014 elections, and as you say, the monstrosity collapses. Doctors leave. You can't get an appointment. It, it, you know, the money is all over the place. The deductibles are humongous. People are getting laid off from jobs. Then it's over. It's over. The Republicans win. See, they win then. So you I've give been it a year to see if I, they can win. Look, but that's what the Republicans just are passing as we speak, which is to give a year delay individual mandate. Look, I agree with you entirely. The, the strategy I would have chosen would have been to do nothing right now, allow it to go into effect. The stories in the press tomorrow, instead of being about the glitches, the disasters, the, the people who can't sign up, 
all the contradictions that you said, the honor system that you have to rely on, computers that cannot calculate what your premium is, what your subsidy is. Instead of the story being about how unwieldy and impossible is the bill, it's going to be all about a shutdown, about the panda cam at the National Zoo shutdown over I know. the uh, government shutdown. It's the wrong story. And if, if you believe, as I do and as the GOP does, that it's an impossible monstrosity, then why not let it go into effect and the, the, and the country will not going to let it reject. go into effect because there's too much invested in them protecting the folks from it. So you're not going to see a Ted Cruz, who I think we're going to have on here in the fact and more, to, you know, go for that. But may, I, I said from the very beginning, let it go, and this could just blow the Democratic Party up entirely as if, you know, we see it as being a, a terrible thing. I think, th I think you're right. I think what the GOP has done is to throw the Democrats a lifeline. Yeah. And that's very unfortunate because it deserves to die. All right, Charles. Thanks very much. Next on The Rundown, Juan and Mary Catherine will react to the chaos. Later on, the fact that Bernie Goldberg on the 60 Minutes piece last night.